have here one of these handheld generators. When I turn the crank, it generates electricity. And we should be able to see that on the oscilloscope. So I turn one way, we get a negative voltage. I turn the other way, we get a positive voltage. So I have it on the two volt setting. So you can see I'm generating right now about four volts. And if I spin faster, well, I can get up to between five and six volts. On average, say, it's generating about five volts. Great. Well, that's all well and good. But what's going on inside of this thing? Well, that we can answer with this old-fashioned model here. And down here, this part right here, that's just electricity coming from this power supply, going in a circle, creates a magnetic field, the good old-fashioned solenoid. Those field lines go through the nice iron here, and we get a magnetic field going this way. And this right here is a coil of wire. And when you spin this coil of wire in this magnetic field, you'll generate electricity. Now, let's show that. This is pretty old fashioned, so I doubt we'll get as much. Let's see what we get. Not much noticeable on this scale. Let me go down to about 200 millivolts. So this is a 10 times reduced scale from what you saw before. Ah, and you can see we are indeed generating electricity, plus some electronic noise. That's what these spikes are. Ah, if we go down one further to 100, it's even more noticeable probably. Ah, there you go. Now, why do you get DC electricity out? You really should get AC. As the coil spins this way, you get a positive voltage. Then the flux reverses direction with the magnetic field. You get a negative voltage. Well, that's what these brushes are doing here. Oops. These brushes, you'll see that there's little divots here so that this plate's not connected to that plate. So as it spins around, as the coil spins from an increasing flux to a decreasing flux, then these guys switch so that this guy's touching now a different pad. And that way you always keep the uh, positive electricity flowing in the same direction. And it's a, it's a poor man's AC to DC converter. So this is what's going on inside of this.